Hey gang, welcome to another BIM Everyday Tutorial. So today I want to show you how to make an operable window family. And it'll be parametric, so you can just change the width or the height, um, and whatever else you want. So first you want to create a new window family. So I'm just going to close all this. And go to the Revit button, New Family and then find the window template. So, um, first view that opens up is the floor plan and you're presented with a wall and a reference plane. So, by default, this is the center of the wall or the center reference plane. We want to make another reference plane so we can base our window uh, off of that. Uh, so go to create reference plane and just draw it in basically anywhere just so that it's not on top Then select it and give it a name and we're gonna call it center line of window Then what you want to do is dimension it from the Face of the window either one it doesn't matter, but we'll just stick with the exterior face so press tab over the wall so you can get the exterior face click on it and then click on the new reference plane then just to make the dimensions a little easier to read just increase the scale I'll make the text smaller okay then select the dimension and we're gonna give it a parameter so we can adjust where this is based off of the face of the wall so select the dimension and go up to label and just do add parameter and call this offset and you leave it on type and hit OK. Next what you want to do is go to the exterior and so by default we have uh, three parameters one of which is the sill height so if you just click on that and put something else in you can see the, the window drops down as a whole and then the height parameter you can change that as well so the bottom will stay the same and the top will just increase. And again, just increase the scale to make the text easier to read. Um, so what we want to do is make more reference plans. So go back to create and reference plan. Um, so for our frame, I'm going to do a three inch frame on the outside and then a two inch frame for the operable portion. So to make it easy for us, just go here and do offset put in three and just draw in the reference plan and if your reference plane is offsetting on the wrong side just hit space okay then what you want to do is dimension the new reference plane to the existing ones so go back up to align dimension and just click each one and then lock it. The other thing you can do is give this dimension a parameter so that you're not just locked to three inches. So just select all of these four dimensions and just like before go up here to the label and do add parameter. And for the name just call it frame thickness or whatever makes sense to you and hit OK. Now when you click on this dimension you can type in whatever you want and these reference planes will adjust accordingly. Next, see I know we're going to do two frames here so I want to offset these again. So I'll go back to create reference plane and I'll use pick lines this time and just put an offset of two inches and just hover over the, the, the new reference planes and click and now you'll see you'll have two additional sets and again you want to dimension these so just like the 
outer frame, we're going to give this a parameter as well. So select all four, go up to label and add parameter. Try that again. Uh, we'll call this inner frame actually. And hit OK. So again, you can change this dimension to whatever you want and all four will up adjust accordingly. Um, next it's time to actually make some geometry because if you go to the 3D view you can see all we have is just the opening and that's pretty boring. So go back to the exterior view and go to create and you want to go to extrusion. So before you start drawing you have to pick your reference plane. So you click set and then here the default is the center of the window which if you remember if you remember from before was that green line let's go to the floor plan so the default is this green line in the center which is the center of the wall we actually want to use the new one that we made so we can adjust our window um, our window location relative to the wall so just click on set again and click on center line of window or whatever you name that reference plan you actually great story you can't do this in plan so just go to exterior view and switch it there and hit OK. Now being that we made all these reference planes you don't actually want to use the line tool, the rectangle tool. You want to just use pick lines again and make sure that you have this lock icon on. So that means that whatever you click on the sketch line will be locked to that. So we want to just go around and click on these outer two reference planes escape then use the trim command and just trim this all up so it's a continuous extrusion okay and before you finish it you want to adjust the actual extrusion thickness so I want this to be a four inch thick frame so the end just pop in two inches and the start put in negative two inches and then hit OK. So if you switch over to the 3D view and let's just put shaded and just make this a bigger scale so the line thicknesses look OK. Now you can see you have this frame here sitting in the middle of the wall. If you go to the plan you can see now the center of this window is in fact this line that we this reference plane that we put in. So if we adjust this, we can actually move the location of the window relative to the wall. Which is really handy depending on if you're not really sure what your design is yet. You can basically put the window wherever you want. So let's go back to the exterior view and we want to do another inner frame. So go to create, extrusion, and again use pick lines and make sure that you have this on lock and now just click the inner two reference planes. And use the trim command and just clean this up. Okay, so I wanna give this a little bit of a shadow line, so I don't want this to be the exact same thickness as the outer frame, so just make this 1.5. And minus 1.5. Again, you can put in whatever distance you want, just whatever suits your design needs. But the main point is, is that you keep these two the same, so the window will be in the center of that reference plane. Okay, so just finish the sketch, and let's check it out in uh, 3D. Look at that; it worked. So um, next, we want to do is actually give this a little bit of line weight biggest complaint everyone says, oh Revit has no line weights, well let's prove them wrong right now. If you go to the manage and object styles you can see here here's all your line weights for whatever uh, subcategory you're using. So anything that's basically just a window will be a projection of two and a cut of two. But We want to add a little more control over this so I'm gonna add two new subcategories and just to make it obvious for anyone or yourself or anyone who's using 
this family after you. Just call this frame 2, meaning this is the window frame, and it's going to have a line weight of 2. Whoops, don't, don't do that. Hit delete. Make sure that your cursor is in the window category, so when you click on new subcategory, it'll actually put it in Windows. So I'll try that again. Frame 2. And then another subcategory, frame 1. And being that these are new subcategories, when you load this in, the line weights will take on whatever you set here. So I, I'm really concerned about the elevation, so I want the projection of this to be 2 for frame 2. And for frame 1, projection of 1 is perfect. So hit OK. So select the outer frame, and over here at subcategory, click frame 2. And you can see already that it got thicker. And for the inner frame, give this uh, subcategory a frame 1. And now that's actually thinner. You can basically adjust this however you want. So if you go back to object styles and projection, you know, you could put 5 here. And there you go. Now that's incredibly thick. So next what we want to do is actually add some glass to the inside. So uh, go to create, extrusion. Again, it's always good to check, make sure your reference plane is still the same, but if you set it in the previous extrusion, chances are it'll still be there. So being that this is glass, we can actually set this subcategory to glass, because this is one of the default that Revit gives you. Then again, you want to use pick lines and click on the reference planes that we made already. And make sure you're on the innermost reference plane. Uh, just use trim and clean this up. And again, um, you want to keep these even, so this is just a piece of glass. So just give it something small. Again, your thickness will change depending on how your glass is. And hit OK. Let's hop over to the 3D view, and there we can see this is looking halfway decent. Um, so that's basically it, but we want to put a few finishing touches on. For instance, we want to, this is a casement window, so we want to show which way the window is opening. So what you want to do is go to the annotate view and symbolic line. Then just pick the hidden lines projection. If you use cut, it'll be a lot thicker, which we don't want that. So just use hidden lines projection and just click on this corner and the midpoint and go back to this corner hit escape um, the one thing I also like to do is if I go to the visibility graphics and I hop over to the annotation categories you'll see here automatic sketch dimensions are unchecked so you want to check this and anything that is blue is a automatic sketch these are great because it makes good um, assumptions for you for instance, it's assuming that you want these diagonal lines to be locked to these two reference planes, which is exactly what we want. However, here it's assuming that you want this point to be two foot one from here, which is not what we want. We actually always want this to be in the center. So the way to get rid of that is to just do another dimension. So what you want to do is go from this reference plane to this reference plane and just click in the, on the end point of those two lines. And then just click EQ, and now that disappeared, and now these two lines are always in the center. So even though these are what we want, we can just make sure that they'll always be like that by aligning these lines to the reference planes. So if you click this one, and you might have to tab to get the endpoint, and there you go, just click and lock it. And now that dimension is gone. So now you just want to do that for these two lines so click this reference plane and tab to get the endpoint and lock it and just keep doing that till all of these zeros are gone perfect um, let's check the let's check to make sure we did this correctly by just adjusting the height okay that, that's looking good and the width. So we don't actually have the width 
dimension showing up here so you can open up the family types and just change the width right here hit 4 or whatever you want and hit apply then we can see everything is stuck so that's good then what you want to do is show the swing and plan so if you go to the reference level and this actually if you see here the projection of this line is a lot thicker than what we really want we'll fix this in the project view where we'll in the elevation we'll go by the object styles and then we'll override how the window looks in the visibility so I'll get to that so what you want to do then is show the plan view or the swing and plan so if you go back to the elevation let's say the hinge is on the right here so we want this hinge to be over here so again go to the annotate and symbolic line and it's still on the one we want hidden lines projection just click right here and to here then select the same line you just drew go to the rotate command press space to change the location and click right on this edge and you want to just rotate this 30 degrees or whatever your office standard is next we want to just draw in the arc here go back to annotate symbolic line and use this center ends arc click the same point go out here and click there so if we just check this let's change the width you always want to adjust the family as you go along make sure everything's working for you so just pop this in perfect it works look at that so that's uh, that's pretty much it we'll load this in and see how it works let's do this in plan so if you click on window here's our family you always want to give this a good name uh, that way it makes sense to you and there you go. So obviously this looks terrible. Uh, let's change this to a quarter for a second. So we have this really thick line that doesn't look good at all. So the way to fix that is if you go to the visibility graphics and we're going to override what we put in before. So visibility graphics, scroll down to windows, and you see here you have frame one and two so we actually always want our windows to be really light so we'll give that a weight of two and a cut of two and the same thing with frame one we'll make them both two and you can see that's looking much better if you want it to be even thinner scroll back down the windows and just change change these both to one and hit OK again the glass is actually a lot thicker than the, the frame so let's change that too scroll back down the windows and you'll see glass so just change the cut to one and actually the hidden lines too look at that it pays to pay attention hidden lines change these to one and there you have it again if you want to if you want your window to be in the center or further back all you gotta do is select the window click on edit type and you'll see this offset here so if you put in five inches it'll actually go further back and that's it so thanks for watching guys uh, if you like this video make sure you like it if you didn't like it um, make sure you hit like anyway because Revit's awesome and uh, be sure to subscribe thanks